Hey everyone, welcome to this panel with uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Most important to me, four-time NBA champion, NBA Hall of Famer, MVP with the Lakers, it's my home team. And definitely the most dominant basketball player ever. I uh, grew up watching Lakers. Uh, I remember that 3 P with Shaq and Kobe. Four championships total, one with Miami. Didn't make me too happy, but you know, it's good for the sport. Uh, <laughs> and more than ever, I wish he would come out of retirement. Lakers, they, they need a new starting center. So there's that. And with ring. Is that the announcement today? Shaq. <laughs> What's up? How are you? How's everyone doing today? Somebody got uh, their phone on the floor. Oh, it's yours. Okay, cool. So, as you know, Shaq is the CFO of Ring, Chief Fun Officer. And that's the CEO, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, you know, let, let's start off. Shaq, I, I saw you were on your iPhone 10 earlier. Is that the fake one that Chuck gave you? Or is that one you bought for yourself? No, oh, I, actually, I actually had it before uh, Chuck bought us the fake one. It was crazy, the one he bought us, I tried to get an aggravated, and I was like, yeah, yeah. It has no insides, so it was weird. Maybe that's Chuck for you, and that's why I hate him. <laughs> you should replace him with Jamie. Yeah, I should. But uh, I saw you have the ring up in your phone, and you were showing Jamie. How, how many cameras, how many devices from Ring do you have hooked up to it? I have 10 cameras. I met Jamie because I met him, what, two years ago, three years ago? A couple years ago. Yeah, here, see, yes, because I, I just bought a new house. And this is the first time that I don't live in one of these, you know, communities. So I, I went and called some security people and wanted to get a couple cameras and they was 20, 30,000. So I was at uh, Best Buy one day and I saw the ring camera and I tried it. And it was fabulous. And I saw the other cameras, the full light cameras. And with the two cameras, probably only cost me about three grand. Two grand. Yeah, two grand. Sorry, two grand. Two grand. <laughs> probably only cost me about two grand. It works perfect. I could be anywhere in the world. I hit my phone and actually uh, I almost caught a guy trying to you know, steal something my friend had spent this. Wow. So it was, it was just fabulous. So you know, Jamie, uh, we had a meeting. They said, hey, I would love to do work with you, work for you. And uh, we've been doing some fabulous props. And what I love about Jamie is, well, one, I'm very impressed that you know, he's this young and this fabulous. Because when I came here, I said, I want to meet the CEO of Ring. I was looking for an older gentleman like this guy right here. You know, older, you know, distinguished gentleman with the glasses and the color. And Jamie came and I was like, who are you? He's like, I'm the CEO of Ring. I'm like, you? This kid with the CEO of Ring? And we had a great conversation and we hit it off. But for those who don't have it, you should go through the right here. So, um, I, I was looking on the website earlier and I know from my own home experience, my dad has completely tricked out the house with every Ring device. And this is a question for Jamie too. I mean, What's next? What are you missing? I feel like you have everything already. Uh, so the big, you know, the big things we came out with this year are around sort of finishing the rings of security. So we bought a company in the lighting space. I think outdoor lighting is something, you know, we're, we're about proactive security, about actually reducing crime in neighborhoods, so stopping crime before it happens. And with lighting, you can actually do that. You can, if someone walks up to your house, you turn on those lights. So we now have lights that will go on where they'll all go on at the same time. So if someone comes up to your pathway, all the lights will go on, all the lights in the pathway, everything will go on, and it'll also turn on all your cameras. So really having that ring of security around the house, and then the alarm system. The alarm really lets us know, not only obviously if someone comes and breaks into your house, but it also lets us know what you have the house in. Is it in an alarm uh, away mode? And so if it's away and then someone comes up to your ring on the front door, we know things that are happening. So it's really completing those rings of security is what we came out with this year. Um, and then two little indoor outdoor cameras. I know Shaq's gonna buy like a hundred of them and I can't show them anything because as soon as I do, he always tries to grab them and usually they're prototypes. So I'm very careful with him to show them anything at this point. So, so Shaq, when you use the ring or people that you see using the ring, do you see a lot of people or do you use it with like an Amazon Echo and other integrations or do you control it mostly from the phone? Uh, I see uh, most of them just use it from the phone. And, you know, they have a, a, a distinct notification sign, so I could be like somewhere in the mall or somewhere in the that sound and be oh, is that ring? And then we just, you know, it, it's actually a great, great uh, conversation starter. But I'm looking forward to 
still in some of your lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he got bored. He started walking around the booth. He comes back in. And he's like, "How do I get those pathway lights?" <laughs> It, it, it's very distinct. Uh, question more, more so for Jamie. I know a lot of people ask me all the time because we've covered Ring on um, our Bloomberg shows a few times. A lot of our viewers have an iPhone. We have iPhones. What about home kit support? What about using Ring with the iPhone? Do you think that's ever going to happen? So, you know, when you're at a show like this, everyone's talking about all the integrations. You know, integrate with this, integrate with that. For us, we're, we call our customers the neighbors. And we're all about delivering to the neighbor the best experience possible. And HomeKit is definitely is something we want to do. It's important. Um, it's on a lot of our devices. We have had that for years, had the chips on there. But it's unlocking it in a way that makes sense for everyone. And I think when we get there, we're going to launch it. We're pretty close. We have been working on it for a while. We have developers on it. And I think it will be a good thing. We do have a lot of iPhone users. And they're very vocal on Twitter. Yeah, definitely. I see a, a lot of HomeKit uh, people. Shaq, do you use an Amazon Echo or a Google Assistant or any of those devices? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm an iPhone. You're an iPhone guy. Yeah. Are you gonna yeah, get the HomePod? No. No? <laughs> nope. I just I'm always I'm always a guy that's always standing in line when the iPhones come out. And you know, I always try to use my shackles to you know, get with the Apple Store manager and be like, hey, can I just get it before they come out? And they never let me get it before they come out. So. But I'm an Apple guy. You're an Apple guy. Well, Chef, what, what do you think Ring should add to the product family? Is there something that you wish that, that Ring made? Something that Jamie can put his input on this team, can put their input on? Jamie doesn't know this, but somebody tried to break into my car the other day, so you need to build one for the car. Yeah, yeah the car, I car is... I was and crazy, I had my camera on the car, but I wasn't paying attention. So when I got back in the car, I heard the wind. You know, like, I didn't really want to know and my whole back window was busted. up. So, so Jamie, I need something for the car. And you know he's right, because the cars, you know, we're, we're all about protecting neighborhoods and reducing crime in neighborhoods. Car theft, car vandalism, it's a, a massive impact to neighbors and neighborhoods. And so it is something we do need to look at. I, I still haven't figured out the product, though, that works. I mean, it's easy to say put a camera on it, but where? Inside, outside? How does it alert you? Is it cellular? There's a lot of questions around how you build that. We haven't figured that out yet, but when we do, for sure, we'll be launching that. I got it. Oh, a person. No, no, not, not to, does you guys all build stuff? No, no, it's just a prototype. Okay, good. A person comes up to the car. Just between you and I, yeah. Yeah, a person comes up to the car and they touch the car and my boy said, Get your ass away from my car! Get your ass away from my car! Get your ass away from my car! I think you just sold some. <laughs> Can I put you in the car? <laughs> sure. Well, could you take one of those, you have some of the lights with the speakers in it, could you put some cellular or some Wi-Fi in your car? I'm sure you have Wi-Fi in your car. I'm sure you're the first uh, I, to that. I do have Wi-Fi in the car, but I can never get it to work. <laughs> I'm sure Jamie has uh, some guys who can help you. Yeah, so you can take one of those speakers, the lights, hook it up on the car, just do a makeshift, just for shack yeah. type of thing. Let me hear your voice say that. Get your ass off my car. Go. <laughs> say it. I'll let you, I'll let no, you say it. No, I would just say it. Yeah, we got some other different voices. Get your ass away from no, my car. No, boo, boo. I'm still breaking into that car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Shaq, Shaq, you might be seven foot one, seven foot two, seven foot tall, but you're not a scary guy. You're a nice guy. Nice guy. Uh, on the court, though, I don't want to go anywhere near you. You would destroy me. Um, what, what else? What about controlling Ring from a smartwatch? I see you wearing the, the Fitbit Ionic. Do you think that would be a cool place to sort of get a camera feed, be able to lift your wrist and, you know, tell someone, you know, to get get their ass away from your car from there versus just the phone? I don't know what you use it with this, with this CES and that. Uh, yeah, and if anybody could do it, this gentleman next to me can get that. I'm sure, he, you know, his, him and his team will do a fabulous job of, of, of you know, getting ahead of the competition and doing great things, but yeah, that'd be great if I could look at my watch and I could, I actually just saw he had a hook to the Samsung, the Samsung, uh, the fridge, yeah, yeah, the smart fridge. fridge. So, yeah, that's I, awesome. Yeah, and I think, you know, that in the past couple of years, a lot of, it, it, we've been hearing the same thing since I launched in 2012. What are you going to integrate with? What are you going to, like, and I, I, I think that the customers out there have not been prepared for these integrations. I do actually think 18, 19, and 20, I think we're finally in that time when people do want to get these integrations because they're starting to make sense. I mean, that smart fridge from Samsung is awesome. 
And when someone hits your doorbell button and it immediately comes up while you're you know, sitting cooking, you can see it, talk to them without doing anything. That's a great integration. That makes your life better. It's not about technology. It's about through being able to answer the door right from the bridge. That's awesome. And so I think there's a lot of things now that are really working. Watches are great too. I mean, obviously to be able to just say like, oh, you know, leave it at the front door to your watch is incredible. So I think those things are the things that we're looking for now to do. But we don't want to do forced integrations. I think a lot of times what you see is we just integrated with XYZ company and it's just for the it's for the announcement. But it doesn't really help anyone. Anyway. No one's using that stuff. And so it's really try to look at those things that really make people's lives better. Then now what about the competition? Obviously we're here at CES, we see all the, the other guys uh, around us here, but <laughs> <laughs> But more than ever, what you're seeing is that a couple of years after you hit the market, I feel like every month I get another email from you guys about a new product that you're coming out with, and obviously got to have it. But you see the Amazons, the world, Google with Nest, uh, ADT, they're all coming out with new products. Over the last just few months or so, what do you think about that? What do you think about the competition and how are you going to continue to stand out? Jamie's not in the business of Dash and Google. So this is the analogy that we will give you. You want to be protected by Shaq, or you want to be protected by Charles Barkley? It's your pick. It's your pick. You want to go with champions with four rings, or you want to go with a guy with no rings? It doesn't matter to us. That's all we have to say. I was just going to say that. Yeah. I'd rather go with a four-time champion than... Uh... I hate you, Barkley. If you're around... Um, <laughs> you know, but a less serious answer would be... Um, I, I, I think if you look at companies and when they get big, if you focus on executing for your customer, which was our neighbor, if we focus on that and we do a great job and we add products and we keep innovating, which we have every single year, we'll, we'll do well. And we don't need to worry about everything else because if you look at the businesses that have failed, they fail typically because of what they do, not because of someone else. And so I think it's just like in life. You, know, you take care of yourself, take care of the people around you, do well for everyone, and, and you'll be okay. And what about locks? You know, locks, I think, yep. is one element of this ring of security that you have that is not really a big focus, at least right now, for ring. So locks is not a focus of us as ring in terms of producing it. Partnering with locks is a big thing for us. We've done some of those integrations over time. This year, for sure, we'll be announcing and, and putting out a lot of deep integrations with a lot of the major locks that are out there on the electronic side because the lock side is really important for obviously what we do. But from a manufacturing side, from a product side, we will not be building locks ourselves. Now, I know I know Shaq mentioned that you, you caught some people stealing some what, FedEx packages. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if you saw, um, a few of the other tech makers, including Amazon, they have these new systems where they're actually gonna let, you know, their delivery people into your house to drop the packages off so someone else can't, you know, steal it from your front porch. What do you think of that? Do you think that's secure, not secure? What is Ring gonna do with that? We just make our own houses more secure. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I want strange people walking in my house. It's a bit odd, huh? So if I come home and see you walking up my house. <laughs> so Shaq, you, um, you obviously have worked with, with other brands, other companies. You have the, the Icy Hot patch. And uh, in, back in my basketball days, I used to use you know, Icy Hot a lot to recover. You play basketball? I do. I do. I can shoot three-pointers better than it. some people on the Lakers. So. Let me see your form. My form? <laughs> Please, you shoot like Alonzo Ball. <laughs> that was the joke. That was the joke. That was the joke. Uh, so, you know, you're involved. You've been involved in a lot of stuff uh, over the years. But w why is Ring different to you than, than everything else that you've, been, you've worked on? Because, again, like Jamie, like I said, he focuses on the customer. And, you know, it makes it, makes it better living, better security for people. And it works, you know, even before I met Jamie, like I said, I'm in Best Buy and I said, hey, let me try it. And I'm at work one day and a guy rung the doorbell and rung my phone. And I'm like, this is all, and, and you know, the, what I love about his, his, his technology is I never had a problem. It's, it's easy. And, 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 and like, you know, I always, always tell people, if Shaq can do it, you can do it. And it's so dummy proof. Get it, connect the Wi-Fi, press the button, you're ready to go. Like I said, I got 10 cameras, never had a problem. I had one problem and I called it, I don't know what he did. 
but he fixed it. And, you know, I can remember one time a customer was complaining to me, and what I respect about this man the most, he said, just give her my email. I saw the lady a couple of weeks ago, and she said, hey, I talked to the, the, the Jamie guy, CEO, he was friendly, he took care of my problems, so uh, I'm glad that I, you know, partnered up with, with such a brilliant man as Jamie. And you've done some law enforcement stuff back in the day? I'm undercover. Undercover. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so what was it? You were uh, a deputy? <laughs> no, I, uh, at first uh, I worked, I worked Grand Theft Auto, and then I worked, what's the fun? I worked Grand Theft Auto, stole cars, and then I transferred to Miami and started working internet crimes against children. And right now uh, I'm still working out, I'm a uh, police officer in Miami, and I've uh, uh, had run as a sheriff in 2020 in uh, Georgia. And I think the little known fact which I learned once I sort of started working with Shaq is that he actually went through the police academy as anyone else would. And he did it during the Lakers champ one of the championship seasons. Which is just amazing, like I think to me, like I just figured that, you know, he kind of was let to sort of do some stuff. <laughs> How many people thought he went through the police academy? <laughs> See? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> but no, I mean I think it's an interesting thing that he really did it, went to the police academy. Three of them, actually, three of them. So did you pick Georgia to run? Yes, okay. yes, in Georgia. In Georgia. Interesting. <laughs> so you've always been uh, ahead of the curve in terms of new tech. Some stuff didn't really work out. Like you're, you had a shoe phone, right, back in the day? You had a shoe with a phone in it, if I remember? We didn't try to sell it. That was just for uh, business. It was a prototype. Prototype. It's a prototype, and I always remember the All-Star Games during the dunk contest, you'd be courtside or whatever, and I'd be looking back, and you'd have one of those, I don't know, Sony or Casio video cameras, yes. and now we have video cameras in our phone, and it was hilarious. So, what, what, what's the new technology? R ring aside, we know you love Ring, but what other new technologies, different spaces are, are you looking at? Well, I love, I love coming to CES like children like going to Toys for us. For me, I just get to see a lot of technology. And I'm proud to say that I am a geek. Love being a geek, love being ahead of the curve, love being technology. I became a geek in 1989 when a geek saved my life. I mean by saved my life is going to stay finals. I uh, didn't, didn't score too well on the test. Uh, the uh, principal put me with a guy who was a geek, smart guy. He broke it down very intellectually on how he studied, how he did things. And he had that first big Apple computer where he had to hit control of the lead. And, you know, dash, MOS, and all that stuff, and we had a conversation, and we just kicked it off, and I was like, you know what, I want to be a geek, and I've been a geek ever since 1989, so after you stop asking all these crazy questions, I'm going to go walk around and get some more toys. <laughs> I only got a couple more. Good. <laughs> um, do you think that Ring needs maybe a screen of its own? We have all these screens everywhere. We have the one on the wrist. You have the one on the wrist. Um, I know that there's a great Ring Mac app. But you see more of these speaker companies, Amazon, Google, whatnot, coming out with their own home hub type of thing. Would it benefit Ring to have a dedicated screen in your kitchen? I don't think so, but that's not my expertise. You know, what makes us a, a great team is Jamie does all the work, takes all the shots, I get all the rebounds, and that's how we win championships. <laughs> so to answer your question, I don't think we need that, but Jamie and his team, I'm sure they're thinking way of uh, uh, the So if there's something that they want to get into, they will get into it. We will also probably guess this. And he'll also shoot the free throws, right? Oh, good <laughs> one. You got me back. Nice. Got you. Um, and I guess last question for, you know, Shaq and Jamie. Um, well, where is this partnership going to go? You have commercials already. Where's next? Billboards. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to start, you know, helping Jamie actually set up people's homes? Are you going to, you know, add the new stuff to my home? <laughs> we've, actually, we've actually done that. Uh, another thing that's very interesting about this man is he gives away over a million dollars worth of product every year. We had a problem in one of the counties in Georgia. I called him up on a Thursday. He was there Friday morning with about 50 ring cameras, him and I, and his text. We went and installed these ring cameras for the uh, single ladies. So, great guy, great company, and we just want to continue to help people and you know, continue to uh, do the right thing and everything that took care of us. Yeah, and that's the fun thing about the partnership is that it's not just about ads and everything else. We're actually going into communities. We're doing a few communities right now, um, and we work with Shaq, who works with us. He actually gets us into a lot of the police, and so we work with Shaq and the police, undercover, of course, 
because uh, he sneaks right in. No one sees him. Um, but uh, but you know, it, 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 that's been a part of the partnership that I think a lot of people don't realize is the actual working part of police and neighborhoods and communities. And that's what makes it so fun for us is that it's not just a you know a, a thing with a great free throw shooter. <laughs> it's real impact, and you can tell. Obviously, Shaq, you genuinely care. This is not this is not a celebrity spokesperson type of thing that you see. Uh, you know, Huawei and other companies have done that. And, you know, recently Samsung. This is the real deal. This is a guy who's down to earth, interested in law enforcement, and wants to you know help push it forward to everyone. Right? Can we give away two products? I don't know. I don't know if we have any. Okay. Do we have any? Yeah. All right. Two? Yeah, yeah. All right, because I'm cycling, so I'm gonna pull a few names out of my. Is uh, G Tara Keith? Is that Tara Keith here? Oh, see, I'm so psyched. Uh, uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing Spanish roots. Is there uh, Alex Chavez Guerrero here? Oh, I'm so psyched. <laughs> Thank you guys. Where's the second one? This is right over there. Oh, sorry. So enjoy, guys. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Have, Have a great CES.